one call to make. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Music. This is Eugene. Sorry about that. Hey, that's okay. It was weird. Like, hey, uh, and then you were gone. Uh, yeah. He was on the other line. He picked up the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, brother? Um, I have a mobile order that I'm, or I shouldn't say mobile order. It's not coffee. I have an online order uh, waiting to be picked up. It was shipped from Victoria to you guys because Victoria made a pickup mistake. Okay. I'm just so, wondering. Uh, we're just wondering if it's ready. They they figured that you guys would have it ready to go for for yesterday. I actually finally for once ordered something for myself to spoil me for once. I normally buy things for the van. This is the first purchase in a long time. That's for me. For me. I spoil myself, Joseph. Good morning, Tom Music. Peter speaking. Um, hey, my name is Chrome Valdez. I have a mobile order. Hey. Yay. Yeah, it's, uh... It arrived today, so your two speakers, two cables, right? Yes, can I come pick it up? Yep, anytime. Uh, oh. That's all good to go. <laughs> you, you made my day, thank you. Awesome, no worries, we'll see you later. All right, man, see you soon. Oh! Here's the new toys I bought. Oh, hey, box truck Gonzo. Bam! Look what Chromie got for his van. I missed having a nice set of studio monitors just for like music, listening, and for my DJ stuff. And I think I found a spot in the van where these can be mounted. So I bought myself a nice set of, of uh, Yamaha HS5 studio monitors. They are definitely a lot smaller than this box. They're not as big as they look. Whew. That was a bit of a workout. Hi, Chris. You see what I bought? You see what I bought? Do you care what I bought? Do you care what this is? Look it. I don't care, Dad. Really? So, I know these things don't mean anything to you guys, but they're, um, it means a lot to me. My music stuff, I really miss it. I miss being able to play my DJ stuff out loud in the van, especially when I'm out in little backcountry areas. And these are, well, let me open them up and show you. If you're not interested in the rest of this video, thanks for watching. <laughs> I wanna open these. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Oh, and it looks so good in the van. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Huh? Does that not suit the house? Bang right up there somewhere. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Feel these things. Tell me if that's not some legitimate stuff. Hey? Yeah, I like it. You're getting me up for copyright this morning, man. Cold rotten. I wasn't going to buy something like this and not set it up and play with it today? Come on now. I 
I gotta be honest with you guys. To spend $500 on a set of speakers like this to give a piece of my old life back to me is so worth it. This purchase was well thought out. I've been pondering this purchase for a long, long time. And all my hard work here on YouTube has finally been starting to pay off. My van is paid for. I'm completely debt free. I've got savings in my bank just in case something ever happens to my van. Now I can start building my old life back. I don't want my old condo life back, but I sure miss a part of my condo. Yeah, that's what I moved out of and gave up all of that stuff just to live in my van. The only part of my condo that I miss is my DJ studio. Take a look at those two speakers right there. Those are the black versions of the ones that I just bought. Sure, the ones in my apartment were way bigger. And I bought the van life-sized ones. But I'd like to have a piece of this back inside of my van. When you first move into a van, it's hard to figure out how you're going to squeeze you in it, let alone a DJ studio. And when I moved into my van, I was completely in debt. So selling all my personal belongings, my turntables, my vinyl collection my keyboard, my computer, my speakers, my everything, was really hard. You have to sacrifice a lot to get into a van and sometimes you gotta sell the things you love the most. And it feels good today to be finally at the point where I can start building some of this stuff back in my van. I know my van a little more, I know the kind of space that I have and where I can squeeze in little things like this. I don't know where I'm going to mount these speakers yet or how this is all going to come. I don't know. They're not going to sit on my bed, let me tell you that. Maybe I'll work something out with Happy Camper Kits and we can rearrange some of my cabinet. I don't know, guys. Maybe we'll do something custom to get these things mounted on either side of my stove somewhere. I'm not sure. But I can tell you this. I miss my DJ studio. I really miss sitting there in my studio being creative. I've been a DJ my whole life. A club DJ and a touring DJ, man, I've done everything in the industry. I'll always be a DJ. I miss my time with my headphones on and my music. I miss that chaos, that 128 BPM beats in my head. All right, let's check out these speakers. Hooey! I could literally DJ probably an endless amount running my solar and everything you see here, my laptop, my DJ controller, my two powered speakers. Whoo! Boy, am I ever excited for summer this year, baby. <laughs> well, I seriously guys don't think I'm ever gonna get any more work done. <laughs> now that I slowly putting together a proper DJ studio for me, I think it's gonna be harder and harder to bust out content when I'm spending hours behind the decks making some music and I very much miss it. That's the one thing I do miss about my condo was my nice big fancy DJ setup because I could go in there, escape the world, put my headphones on, play loud music if I wanted to. And now I'm pretty stoked because maybe next time I'm around a bunch of vans and a gathering and I feel like, you know, playing some music, I got the powered speakers inside there. All I gotta do is plug in and we can bust out some jams, all have some fun, maybe do a 90s dance party or something like that around. With summertime here, I am just stoked. Big smile on my face. I've had a great week this week and a productive one. It felt good to spoil me with buying those speakers and spoiled our home with redoing the entire roof, making it perfect, absolutely perfect. Anyway, I'm hanging out with Joseph today. He's in there fiddling around with the inside of his van. Just wanna say thank you guys for watching and hanging out with me and Mr. Cruzy, which is lying underneath the van right there. And we are right downtown Vancouver. Um, on the other side of the van over there is a, uh, is the ocean and then Stanley Park's on the other side. It's a pretty great little beautiful spot. 
Um, we had to pay for parking in order to park here. Um, it was $11 for two hours, but sometimes to come out to a place like this, you know, when you're in the city, there's not very many places for free parking except for Spanish banks and it gets really busy. And me and Joseph just wanted to kind of hang out here and have a bit of a quiet moment. So yeah, sometimes you gotta pay for parking, it's all good. <laughs> sometimes you gotta spoil yourself, you guys. Whether it's with something material or you just need to go out and pamper yourself and get your nails done or whatever your thing is. Maybe it's yoga. I don't know. But thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Oh, and by the way, we have nothing else needed here in Vancouver. Nothing. I got all my running around to do, picked up all the supplies that I needed, bought the toys that I needed, got the van equipped, ready to go for the entire summer. So yeah, I think as of maybe tomorrow, we might be on the road for the entire summer. All summer. Yeah. Let's, let's leave tomorrow. I'll see you then. That smile on my face couldn't be any more real as it is right here. And I thank you guys every day for inspiring me to be creative. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have the life I have today. I am forever thankful. Thanks, you. Spit it out, Chrome. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.